Hello and welcome to Cloud Perceptor channel. In this video, I'm going to explain you about CloudFront Origin Access Control. I'll explain you what is it and how you can use it. So OAC Origin Access Control is a new feature that secures S3 origins by permitting access to designated distributions only. Okay. So OAC is based on AWS best practice of using IAM service principles to authenticate with S3 origins. Okay. So uh, OAI is kind of a legacy now. So uh, it's good that you should migrate all your buckets and CloudFront distributions to use OAC instead of OAI. So I've already uh, published a video for migrating from OAI to OAC. You can refer that. I'll, I'll, I'll paste that link in the uh, comment, like in the description of this video. Okay. So let's quickly log into the AWS Management Console and I'll walk you through the process. All right. So I'm logged into the CloudFront service. I'll select, see, uh, we'll be creating a distribution. Okay. So click on create distribution. I already created a bucket. I'll show you exactly what, what exactly it is. It contains an index.html page. Okay. And uh, if you look at the permissions, then uh, block all public access is off. And currently this uh, bucket is public. Okay. Even the bucket policy says that. Okay. So let's say if I am, I'll try to access any of the object using this particular URL, I'll be able to access it. As you can see, it contains index.html with a simple hello world message. Okay. All right. So things looks good. Uh, let's uh, prevent the public access and allow it to only use, only access it through CloudFront. So number one, first step is selecting your origin domain, origin domain from S3. Okay. So there are different uh, origin domains that are available. Like you can also select Elastic Load Balancer, API Gateway, Media Store Container, Media Package Container, etc. Okay. So let me quickly find out the bucket that I had created, CP Demo 87, which is the same over here, CP Demo 87. Okay. So I'll select that. Next is the origin path you it's optional leave it empty okay name you can keep the name as same next is in the origin access click on this origin access control settings recommended we'll click on this create control settings but i have already created one uh origin access over here i'll quickly show you so that we don't need to create it again so it is the name, okay, name of my distribution. Under settings, select sign request recommended and origin type should be S3. That's it. Click on save and we are good to go. Just select this origin access control that you just created. Okay. That's it. Rest all other options needs to be as it is. Don't change that. Okay. I'll quickly scroll down to the default root object option. Just type in index.html. Just remember <clears throat> not to put any slash or any star character over here. Because if you do that, uh, it will always give you access denied error. Okay. So just put in the object name, which is the root object. As you can see in this particular bucket, my root object is index.html. Okay. So that's it. I have done the configuration. Now click on create uh, distribution. Before that, let's review this again. This looks good. Okay. We are done with the name and uh, origin access control settings. Okay. And the root default root object. Okay. It looks good. Click on create distribution. All right, one more step. Uh, 
for this demo we don't need web application firewall so i will select this no click on create distribution all right so it will create the distribution meanwhile we also need to update our bucket policy so cop click on this copy policy button you will get this uh, option once you click on create distribution okay so we'll head over to the bucket policy for this particular bucket click on edit I'll just remove this part and paste it over here i'll quickly explain you what exactly does it mean here the principal is the service cloudfront.amazon.com okay action is s3 get object and for this particular resource which is the bucket arn and we have added a condition over here which is uh you know source arn should be the cloudfront distribution arn okay so if you look at this arn it is over there okay you don't need to create it particularly you will get it uh, as soon as you click on the create distribution and click on this copy policy but for information you need to understand what exactly do it does okay so that's it uh, click on save settings and we'll wait for this distribution to get deployed okay, it is still in deploying state so we'll wait okay so after waiting for a while the distribution is now enabled it changed from deploying to enabled state let's quickly copy this url and try to see if it works all right so it is working fine so that means uh, we have successfully configured OAC origin access control. Okay. Let's quickly check the bucket to see if the access, if we are able to access it. This particular index.html object and. Okay. Let me try to open it. I think it is caching try to open it in a new tab okay, so i'm trying this in firefox and as you can see we are getting access denied so that means it is working absolutely fine so this is how you can configure oac in your cloudfront distribution oac will uh, like it's it's an enhanced uh, version that is re uh, released so oei is now legacy so that's it guys thanks for watching this video do like and subscribe our channel see you again in the next video